So just like a lot of you, I've found myself using this iPad Pro a lot nowadays for my typical day-to-day -day tasks, such as research, answering emails, and media consumption. But my favorite part about this is that thanks to a couple of accessories, I've managed to turn this iPad into an actual minimal mobile setup. I can already see people nodding their heads or raising eyebrows. So obviously this doesn't apply to everyone. So please save the snarky comments or questions such as, but can it code for some other time? So I've already made an iPad Pro plus Magic Keyboard video in the past. So I'm not going to try to go into details about this and talk about how this is essentially my favorite accessory for the iPad Pro. Just know that I really, really like using it and it has changed my iPad user experience a ton for the better. The only thing I really don't like about it is, as I've mentioned before, the rubbery material that they used for the Magic Keyboard and the way you open it. But I suppose since a lot of the gestures of iPad OS itself isn't exactly intuitive, it stands to reason that I guess the same applies for any hardware accessory that may come down the line. So aside from the Magic Keyboard, my favorite iPad Pro accessory is actually this desk pad right here. But it's actually not an ordinary desk pad you see. So I was browsing Reddit one day and came across this post in the iPad Pro subreddit. This certain individual custom made an iPad case that also doubles as a desk pad. And let me show you what I mean. So it's called the Magic Sleeve and it's made and sold by a visual artist in Brooklyn, New York. It has 62 individual magnets that are stitched inside this wool uh, material and they are strong. As a matter of fact, strong enough that I can do this. Yeah, it's not falling. And it also addresses one of the major problems that I personally have with using the Magic Keyboard with my iPad Pro. And that's the fact that you can't really use the tablet aspect of it without worrying of it getting scratched. But now because you have this really nice wool desk pad, you can just pop it out of the thing and now you have your own little workspace where you can draw, sketch, whatever it is you do with your iPad. Other things I like about this wool desk mat is how he incorporated the branding somehow in this inside the wool itself. He's got a little cutout here that looks really, really nice and it's virtually invisible. You can actually fit a 12 inch MacBook in this sleeve right here. This one is specifically made for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I tried my wife's um, MacBook and it certainly works. It's brilliant, really. I mean, now that I can just take my iPad off of the Magic Keyboard, I can just use it as a little nice workspace and you know, as an area for my little accessories such as the pencil, a couple of dongles here and there, and my glasses and my AirPods Pro. It's really neat. I'm really happy with this. Oh, speaking of accessories, you might like this. This little cool piece of tech that uh, Satechi sent me. And it's basically a wireless uh, dock that you can plug in directly to your iPad Pro, plop in your AirPods Gen 2 or AirPods Pro, and it starts charging. Really cool, minimal design. I mean, obviously it's not necessary, but I mean, aesthetics, man, I'm a slave to it. I always say that it looks really, really cool. Plus it's really tiny. And speaking of accessories being tiny, because they are tiny, you can actually also do this. They all fit in here and they're secure. This is pretty much a portable mobile workstation. So if you want to check this one out yourself, I will leave the person's link to his Instagram and his online store where he sells um, these, these magic sleeves. And seriously guys, I think if you like having the iPad Pro plus magic keyboard combo, this is to me a very essential, um, I mean, it's a solid recommendation. I think everyone will appreciate this. You have now a really nice workspace to go with your iPad Pro and Magic Keyboard. So check it out. It's all going to be in the links in the description below. But before I end this video, I also want to share another accessory that I use alongside this 
um, mobile setup. Obviously, at some point, you are going to need some power. And for that, I use Rav Power's Power Bank. They are, in fact, the sponsor for this video. So I'd like to give them a little shout out and show you how cool this little thing is. So this one has a capacity of 20,000 milliamps, which basically has enough juice to power your or to recharge your iPhone 11 up to four times. It has a USB-A and a USB-C port as well as an AC outlet. It supports fast charging with its 30 watt power delivery USB-C port, which completely charges a 12 inch MacBook in about two hours. The Quick Charge 3.0 port, which is the USB-A, charges compatible USB-A devices up to 18 watts. It comes with a charging cable and a hard case if you're interested in it at all, as well as a soft carrying pouch. Just note though that it does not include an AC power adapter, just so you know. That's it for today, folks. Please hit that like button and also please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, I'd like to invite you to check out my podcast with fellow creative Chelsea Horn, which we call the Coffee with Creators podcast. And as always, everything else that I've talked about or shown in this video will be linked in the description down below for easy access. Until next time, please be safe and be kind to one another. Thanks.